hello and welcome back to my channel thank you all for tuning in and today i'm going to be talking about herbal powders and how to use it for your skincare products so let's get straight right to it but first please kindly subscribe like and share my videos please help me build my channel to grow thank you so the first powder i'm talking about is green tea green tea is very good you can use it as a toner you can use it as a face mask in your cream in your soap and as a face mask as well it's very good for anti-aging acne prone skin oily skin okay so and it's good for safe for children's skin as well so whenever you want to use it in your diys you know what to use them for face mask toner cream soap and shampoo too it's also good for shampoo. It stimulates hair growth as well. And it's anti-inflammatory and antioxidant packed. So that's the one for green tea. Now the next powder we're going to be talking about is papaya. Papaya powder, you can use it as an antioxidant for your skin. You can use it in your scrub. You can use it in your soap, face mask. And it's good because it has high percentage of vitamin A. It erases spots and it helps with skin discoloration because it's high in vitamin A. It prevents wrinkles, removes wrinkles and spots or discoloration on the skin. You can use it in your oils as well. The next powder we're talking about is hibiscus. Hibiscus flower powder is very good for tightening the skin, preventing wrinkles, and it helps prevent but protects your skin from your skin from the UV sun rays. It increases the collagen in your skin, so it helps with anti-aging. Very good for scrubs, facial masks, and soaps as well. And after that, the next powder we're talking about is oatmeal powder. Oatmeal powder is antiseptic. It's best used for soap and scrubs. You can use it for cream, but any cream you use it for, know that that cream will be an antiseptic uh, cream used for skin problems such as uh, psoriasis, rashes, and all that. That's why they use it for mostly for kids' cream, baby skin. It's very healthy when it comes for baby skin to prevent rashes and to remove rashes that the uh, child already has. So if you have skin problems and all that, you can use uh, oatmeal powder now rice powder very very good for anti-aging and whitening it's very good for whitening that's why mostly is to use for scrubs and face masks you can use it also for your cream but that no means you have to put a very high percentage of preservatives so the cream doesn't grow mold but best used for scrubs and face masks Akai berry is another good powder, very high in vitamin C, very high in vitamin C and high in vitamin A. This product is so good for face masks and body scrubs. You can use it for your soaps as well. It's very good in clearing spots and sun burns. Very, very good. Capascom bell peppers is another product that is a vegetable that is high in vitamin A and C. If you use this product for your face mask and your scrub, boy, you will love your skin. And you can use it to make oils as well for your creams. It's best for the oil and the cream, not just directly for the cream. Use it for your oil to make oils, then put it in your cream. That's how you use this bell peppers capascom. Then the next uh, product we're talking about is tomatoes. Come on. But uh, uh, tomatoes is so good when you use it for face masks and soaps because it shrinks the pores, acts as sunscreen, treat acne, oil control, fair complexion, high in vitamin A and C. My goodness, tomatoes is just endless. You can use it to make oils, soaps, scrubs. You can use it for cream too, but not really. I would not advise that because it's kind of oxidizes pretty fast you know what that means so it's best to use it for oil and soaps and scrubs the lemon we know what lemon does lemon is so good and high in vitamin c but when you're using lemon in any of your skincare products leaving it on the skin like creams and all that you have to wear high percentage of sunscreen lemon is a natural skin bleacher you can use it for oil, lemon oil, soap, scrub, cream, face masks, and all that. 
the least is endless when it comes to lemon. Uh, pineapple is another high percentage of vitamin C that is a natural skin bleacher. That is why they use it for creams a lot and um, sorry for soap a lot if you use it for cream it has to be in the night because of the high percentage of bleaching and vitamin c so you cannot have a, so you won't have to have sun damage using this for your scrub using it for your soap and the oil pineapple oil is very very beneficial for the skin it's very high in vitamin c and it will clear away dark spots like magic aloe vera is a soothing plant when it comes to the skin you can use it for hair growth you can use it for children's skin in their soaps in their cream and for adults you can use it for hair cream hair body soap max you name it and it's edible it's a healing plant for sunburn for rashes it doesn't do lightning actually but it's very good when it comes to smoothing the skin aloe vera is good for that it's safe for children as well. Even pregnant women can use aloe vera as well. Mulberry pod. This, this is the origin of alpha abortin. I mean, mulberry is just on another level of skin lightening when it comes to organic product. I mean, when you're doing promising, you're using pod as alpha abortin, you know what it does. But using the mulberry, which is the source of half a button, using it for your face creams, for your body, mulberry oil, serum, toner, the benefit is endless. This product will smoothen your skin like Kilo Day. Baby skin. It's mostly, I, I will even say, when you use it for face cream, it's even best. Because it lightens naturally and pretty fast as well. Okay? Mulberry is just king when it comes to organic lightning powder. Please, let's give mulberry some respect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so moving on, the next powder we're going to be talking about is... Yes, uh, the next powder we're talking about is strawberry. Strawberry is best for face masks, toner, body scrub, and soaps. I won't really say cream that much because leaving it on your skin for too long is not really... I mean, I, let me just say, best for soaps and scrubs, okay? Now, turmeric is just the babanla, when you say the king. Gold, they call it herbal gold. It's good to clear acne, fade pigmentation, glow your skin, remove scars, brighten the skin, soap, scrubs. You can use it like oil. As turmeric oil as well and put in your cream not directly into your cream as the powder but more like from the oil to your cream cinnamon powder is anti-inflammatory so it's good when you're using it for skin disorders like rashes stretch marks so you use it for your soap face marks and scrub not for cream bentonite clay is like when you say it, natural product, minerals, high in minerals used for scrub, face masks, clears acne, clears oily skin, you know, controls oil on the face, oil production, best for face masks, scrub, and your soap. You can use it for your soap as well. Charcoal clay, uh, charcoal powder, sorry, is the same thing like bentonite clay. It's very, very good for antioxidant for your skin. You can use it for your soap, your scrub, body scrub facial max and uh, toner as well and they use it to brush it it whitens the teeth so imagine if it does that to your teeth what it will do for your skin charcoal activated charcoal too is good for that now this is calm wood calm wood we know what it does our for our grandmothers use it to brighten the skin to prepare the bride for the wedding day it's best for your facial scrub it's best for your soap herbal soaps and uh, this thing, uh, what they call it, you can make calm wood oil out of it as well. It smoothens the skin very, very well. And it's good for babies. Calm wood you can use to calm also babies, baby skin. Neem powder, which is dogoyaru, is good for soap. Anti-inflammatory, antiseptic. It has antiseptic uh, enzymes in it. Best for cream, uh, sorry, not cream. Best for soaps, scrub, and toners as well orange peel wow this is good for face cream 
toner, face serum, oil, orange oil, body cream, you name it. High in vitamin C, very high in vitamin C. Removes spots, controls uh, oil from the face, removes acne. The list is endless. Natural uh, bleaching components in orange and carrot as well, which is very high in carotene. Good for lightening, high in vitamin A. Very good for carrot oil, facial masks, face cream, body cream, facial uh, scrub, body scrub, endless endless carrot oil is the bomb carrot oil is the bomb it's best when you use it for carrot oil and put it in your cream now moringa leaves is an antioxidant this is anti-inflammatory as well so if you have like skin disorder and rashes especially for babies young children as well you can use moringa and that is why it's best used for soaps and body scrubs sandalwood is another a good uh, herbal powder that is used for soap, body scrub, uh, face scrub, and uh, they call it uh, for rashes in children, even other, and it smoothens the skin very well, smoothens the skin. It has lightening components as well. Frutamine, this is a new powder that is just out in the market, I think, but uh, it's like similar to miracle powder, but unlike miracle powder, frutamine is whitening because it contains more than 10 herbal powders, carrot, orange, lemon, you name it. So frutamine is very good for lightening if you want to stick to organic. When you use it, you won't see the lightening pretty fast too, but it starts with smoothening your skin. From smoothening, you start noticing spots going away, fading fading and it's very good when you use it for your cream your face cream especially sunburns miracle powder <laughs> it's good though when it comes to stretch mark to prevent it but when you have the stretch marks already you have to it just helps fade it not really remove stretch marks per se but it's good for sunburn dark knuckles you name it and it smoothens the skin smoothens the skin very very well Miracle powder, the benefit is endless. Face masks, body scrubs, soap, cream, you name it. So I hope I managed to, because I was trying very hard to make this video as short as possible. But I hope somehow I managed to send some message across and I managed to give out good information. And somehow you've learned a thing or two in how to use your powders in your formulation of diy so thank you very much for watching and god bless you kindly subscribe like and share my video see you soon bye